pie. But first, if you have all white serving dishes worthy of display, now is the time to pull them out. That white pottery or tableware is a big marker for farmhouse style. The real stuff is called Ironstone, I'm told. That's new to me. Once you're on the lookout for Ironstone and its lookalikes, you'll see it everywhere, and you'll see that it's easy to love. Use one pitcher or a bowl as a centerpiece. You can use many of these dishes as a featured collection. Melanie Miner is going to help us develop a more refined taste for this collectible. It's always great to see you. So ironware? Ironware. That's a new term to my yes. decorating file. What is it? So let me give you the history lesson we again. We love the history, <laughs> history lessons. History lessons. So it actually originated in England in the 1840s, and it was came about because china was too expensive porcelain was too expensive to make so it made it made this available for everyone so you get the look without the price yeah it's kind of a cheaper version it's a heavier version so it doesn't break as easily as china does or as porcelain does so people that were a little bit on the poor side were able to have mm -hmm. like a the something that looks like china but was why when we know the history do we love it more and we want it more when we know that backstory i it's love history so true. yes it's yes. so true so yes. how do we know what's the marker of real authentic iron so some of the you want to look on the back so first of all it's heavier okay so it's going to be heavier than a typical china like, piece oh yeah it's yeah sturdy. it's heavier mm -hmm. and when you flick it it kind of has a ring to it like with your finger yeah yeah give it a flick melanie i i, I don't know if it will work with the so oh you yeah, kind of hear that little ring, a little ting. Yeah, it kind of yeah. has a ting to it. Where China doesn't have that same, and porcelain doesn't have that same ring. So if people give you crazy looks in the antique yeah. store aisle as you're <laughs> like, like flicking ding, ding. your china, <laughs> jokes yeah. on them. You're the smart exactly. one. Yeah. And then you want to look on the back, and you'll see like a stamp. So this one is really cool because this is actually. This stamp is Union Pacific. It was used on the railroad lines. Oh my goodness. So it came to the Americas in the 1850s and then it started to get produced here in America. So there's a lot of it around. You just have to look. You just have, have to, to look. know where to look. So we're looking for the weight. For the weight. The ping factor. The ping factor. And then and the, and the stamp. stamp. And, and which was really great because they used these on the railroads. They used them on boats because they didn't break as easily as China. Oh, that China. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. would transport yeah, a little better. Transport. So where are we finding this? these pieces? Where are we looking? So, you know, go look in your, your grandma's. <laughs> Hello, grandma. <laughs> your grandma's pantry. Dropping by for a visit. Can I poke my head in your door? There's a lot. And then eBay, thrift stores. Um, you'd be surprised where you can find it. Is I it think. one of those items, though, on the thrift store front that is kind of, it's, it's there and then it goes? Well, and it's kind of new and coming. I think people are kind of starting to grasp it and be like, oh, wait a minute. This is... This is something that's new, that's different than just your typical porcelain bowl. And we set this up as white china type pieces, but I'm seeing yeah. a lot of blue and white. So yeah, what's the yeah. story there? So they would use blue. These are a lot of transfers that they would put on the blue. Uh -huh. Some are into the, into the burned in. Burned in, yeah. yeah. So, and Look these, these are really pretty. I love that they have like a raised look to them as well. Yes. So would if I you dare find use ones like these? Those? Would I dare eat with these? Would I display you know, these? What would I do I, with these? I usually use them as displays, yeah. just stacking them. I love to stack them. So like these dishes, like stack them in your pantries, I mean in your, on your shelves so mm -hmm. that people can see all different kinds of colors of white. Well, and those floating shelves are so popular yeah. these days in modern yeah. kitchens. Yeah. What a great showpiece to put on that open shelving yeah. option. And to have them all stacked up. Mm -hmm. And it's fun too to even start collecting just pictures and just put pictures up. So you can have just a collection of different colors of whites and blues in the pictures as There's well. a different weight to it, not just physically, but I think visually. I mean, a lot of people collect milk glass, for example. Yeah, you yeah. see a lot of milk glass vases. Um, but how stunning would it be to have a collection of, like you said, pictures like this yeah. with kind of that heavier, more substantial decorating presence? Yes, and it's so, so pretty. I just, I have like fallen in love with it. And I am a McCoy girl. I love McCoy pottery. Yeah. But I've kind of leaned over to this and been like, oh, because it just has a little bit more variety to it and uh -huh. color to it. And the history of it is so cool. It's so neat, the history. But another thing I wanted to show you really quick just to look at sure. is a lot of them do say iron stone on them. Okay. So that's another thing. Really look for iron stone. If it says iron wear, 
It's not iron stone. So it's iron ware different than iron stone. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so just stacking them, could, does that get away, could we get away with the centerpiece look? With just oh, stacking and absolutely. grouping and collecting? Well, we kind of did a centerpiece here by putting a cutting board, an old vintage cutting board underneath, and then just stacking the plates uh -huh. on top. So you could put that on like the top of the sideboard. The white is such a fun contrast with the wood, but I also love it against the tarnished metal. Yes, yes. So to stack even these little cake stands and use those in your decorating as well. Are you seeing pieces filter into your shop? Oh yeah, absolutely. All these pieces right here are in our shop right now. So come in and check them out and get yourself some ironware. It's to market in Kaysville. <laughs> to market in Kaysville, yes. That's where you can shop these pieces and also get great decorating advice like Melanie shares and history lessons too. She's yes. always good to share those as well. <laughs> but again, history. I love it. I really, really yeah. do. And I appreciate that you've given us kind of an early heads up on these. So watch yes. for these now watch if you see them, them, grab them. Yes.